As the sun goes down over the Argandab Valley just north of Kandahar, the Afghan National Army is massing for an operation. Only 24 hours earlier, more than 700 Afghan soldiers were dispatched from Kabul and flown to Kandahar, 30 kilometers south of the Argandab district. Just three months ago, such a rapid response, including using Afghan aircraft, would have been impossible, real evidence of the Afghan army's growing capability to respond to threats. On this evening, the lush valley looks deceptively calm. In fact, the area has been infiltrated by Taliban fighters, some of whom may have escaped only days earlier from the city's main prison. The following day, the soldiers wake at the break of dawn and prepare to move out and retake the district in an operation planned and led by the Afghan army. First truckloads of Afghan soldiers leave camp, shortly followed by Afghan National Army troops and ISAF soldiers from Canada. The infantry move slowly, pausing every now and then, aware the thick vegetation of the Argandab Green Zone provides ideal cover for militants lying in wait. At first they pass locals going about their daily lives, but soon the signs of a looming battle become unmistakable. Local people, aware of the Taliban around the area and seeing the approaching Afghan army, hurry to leave ahead of any fighting. As the soldiers draw closer, explosions ring out in the distance and smoke billows from the town. Crossing the Argandab River, they take up covering positions, knowing that any minute now, the fight will come to them. Then, just before Argandab, on the west side of the river, the combined forces are met by insurgent gunfire. Sporadic but fierce exchanges break out and continue for the following hours. The calmness of the soldiers shows men well used to battle. The dense undergrowth spotting the enemy is not easy, and at one stage we are forced to pull back. Nevertheless, before too long the overall advance resumes. Throughout the Argandab, the Afghan army pushes forward, driving the Taliban out of the vital district. For me, the battle finished early as my camera ended up in the Argandab River and my colleague was wounded. But the unit I was with stayed in the fight and two days later, calm has been restored to the Argandab. The fighting is over, the people are returning, and with this battle won, the Afghan security forces and ISAF are starting and bringing long-term stability to the region. This is Daniel Morgan for the NATO Channel in Afghanistan.